Alright, I finally managed to get both my connects into the same room uh, and this is the first attempt of uh, taking the, the 3D images from, from two of them and merging them. So let me show you, I have two cameras running right now at about 90 degrees from each other. From the first camera's point of view it's aimed at about here, so I have the connect uh, box sitting just here on a, on a little footstool. And from the second Kinect's point of view it looks like this, so they are about at 90 degrees to each other. Uh, and uh, what you can see is that uh, it does actually um, the system actually merges those two fairly well. So my concern about interference was uh, not as bad as I had thought. Um, there is some interference for sure. If I turn off one of these images, uh, you notice that there's a lot of uh, black stuff that is not uh, not supposed to be there. If I turn off uh, the other one you can see it even worse. So this year uh, all these holes that you have here should normally be resolved. So that is definitely, and you can also see on the checkerboard here in the background, which by the way I used for calibration. Uh, so there's definitely some interference, but it's not as bad as I had feared. Uh, and especially if you turn both of them on, they pretty much fill in each other's holes. So it is not, uh, it is actually quite usable. And as you can see here, because we now have uh, two of them from, uh, from about a 90 degree angle, I'm of course still not getting the entire object because for that I would need to have another one in the back. But at least we get uh, well, we get three quarters of the object. We have the top face, we have the left face, the right face, and the, and the front face. So that's actually pretty uh, pretty um, pretty good result, I have to say. the uh, The calibration is still a little bit rough around the edges. Uh, you can see here that uh, the uh, the edge of that footstool is not exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, but that's just a matter of, uh, of getting better calibration done, so actually I'm, I'm quite optimistic right now. Uh, the other thing of course is that, uh, let me show you when I go into the image there, uh, that one of the major side effects of this of course is that you also have less shadows. So let me see if I can demonstrate what it looks like if I actually step into the frame here. So as I pick this up, uh, you see I can move it around and just uh, it works pretty much as before. But what you might only notice if you've seen the other videos is that I, if I put my hand in front of the connect, I still don't get uh, a shadow behind my hand. And this is, we are not looking at this from the exact point of view of the camera. One of the cameras is over there and one is over here. So we are seeing an actual three dimensional view and we are not seeing very much of that, that shadowing that we had before. Of course, you can still see my shadow back there on the wall because that is only captured by one camera. Uh, but apart from that, if I put my hands in front of each other, you see how it actually works, uh, works reasonably well. These weird black lines that you can see when I, when I turn my head over, the, the black line right here, um, that is where the, uh, where the two images do not merge 100% seamlessly. But they do, merge, they do merge reasonably well, I have to say. So this is pretty pretty good result, actually. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with that, given that it's the first attempt. Um, we have to improve the calibration, obviously, uh, but that's just a matter of you know doing some some better procedures, getting a lot of lens distortion, which I have so far completely ignored, but I can't uh, get away with that anymore. And uh, and uh, and seeing how it works. But I'm I'm yeah I uh, I was wrong. I w I thought it would be much much worse than it actually turned out to be, and this is just the first attempt, so I haven't really spent very much effort on it yet. Um, pretty cool. So that's that's it for now. I'm going to experiment more with that. I'm going to try to put a better calibration procedure into place and then see where that leads us.